How's it going, everyone? This is Than from Title Gardens, and we're going to be talking about propagating toadstool leathers. So, the first fun fact about leather corals, and in particular the sarcophytes, is that、um, they actually go through phases where they get a very waxy coat and are fully retracted. And this happens maybe once every few weeks to a month, and it's completely normal. That's really their. Their natural method of sloughing off algae growth and things like that on its、um, on its skin, and so I receive calls about this all the time, where it's like, "Oh no, my leather is completely closed up, and what do I do?" Well, basically nothing. Just provide it enough flow, and that waxy coat will come right off and will be fully extended again. Another thing to note about these corals is that they're actually pretty decent hosts for clownfish.、Um, clownfish readily jump into them, and unlike some other corals that are pretty disturbed by the presence of these fish,、um, sarcophytes do just fine. So let's now move on to propagation, and the weapon of choice for this coral is some stainless steel scissors. A sarcophyte in leather is kind of like a big portobello mushroom. So the technique that I want to try here is to cut a ring all the way around and leave the stem untouched. It's important to note that soft corals and leathers, in particular, are highly toxic to other corals. So because of this propagation process, you can see a lot of this murkiness being introduced into this little container here.、Um, you don't want to reintroduce that into your aquarium at all, and you want to make sure that all these cuttings are well rinsed before putting them back into your tank. Okay, and now we're done with this first cut. Here is the stalk after the cutting. Since it's already attached to the live rock, all it really needs is a quick rinse in some clean、uh, salt water, and it can be reintroduced into the aquarium. The pieces of the rim that I've cut can be cut down into smaller pieces, and I try to cut them into roughly square-shaped sections so that when they grow,、um, they have a much more、uh, symmetrical shape. Unlike the stock, these little cuttings they don't actually have any substrate or anything, so we have to provide that for them.、Um, the best thing that I found is that just to use natural live rock for this, the irregularities in the shape of the live rock actually help because we do use rubber bands、um, to hold the frags down. When rubber banding the little cuttings, you have to worry. A little bit about how much pressure is being exerted on the coral. If there's too much pressure,、um, it'll actually over time cut the little guy in half, and both pieces will then float around the tank aimlessly. And that's really not what you want to be doing. So you kind of have to find little pockets and just make sure that there isn't too much pressure on them. Now, once they're all secure, we can return them all to the aquarium. After a day, let's see where we are. So first off, the stalk doesn't look too happy, and that's understandable. It actually was hacked to all heck. Now, kind of surprisingly, the little frags—they、um, were fully extended, and these things are not attached yet. So it'll take them maybe another few weeks to a month to fully attach. But it's a good sign to see them fully extended. And that does it for toadstool leather propagation. Thanks so much for watching, and if you want some more information, check out our, our website www.titlegardens.com.